No. Well, what's up, everybody? We are headed to our first job here. We are going to a Grady White. It says uh, the bilge pump stopped working. It's got some water in it, so we're going to check that out. So I'll see you there. All right, so we made it to the first job here, the Grady White. The water is drained out of it now. Boat's lowered down. I flipped the breaker right here for our aft float switch. That was tripped, which was caused by, if you can see down here, this works. Can you hear that pump? That pump ain't no good. So, let's change that pump out. Roll some of that sweet footage. So the new one's in. Now let's give her a test. Sounds way better. All right, this one's done. We're gonna pack it up and head to the next job. See you there. All right, we made it to our next job. This is the 38 Regal that we messed with two weeks ago, I think, something like that. So let's check out what's going on. All right, so we gotta replace these shocks in the bed. There is underneath the bed here, this little handle. You lift this up, and there's storage. But this is supposed to stay up on its own with these springs, and it doesn't work. So let's switch them out. All right, so on these guys, there's just a clip right here. Give it a little pop, pop it right off there. Same on the bottom. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but this says 1440, which is 14 inch stroke by 40 PSI. And that's actually not right. The old ones that came off should be 80s. So it's not holding it up either, so we're going to get the right ones. They send us the wrong ones. It happens sometimes. So let's move on to the windlass. All right, so we got another problem here. The customer says the windlass hangs up when it gets to this point right here between the splice and the chain. So let's see what it does. Ooh. Surely does. Let's back that off. He's hanging up, you can see, look at it. So this place must be a little bit too fat for it to get around there and it's making it stop and back up. So we have a whole new rope chain, everything. We're gonna put it all in there. There's a the chain. Well, let's see if she rolls through. Perfect. Try that again. Looks perfect to me. All 
right, when this is all done, let's get the trim sender on the Yamaha and then we'll be done with this one. All right, so this is a boat we already came to. This is actually the motor that has a bad sender here. It works, but it doesn't do anything in the middle range here. So it's stuck here. And then when it goes, it goes all the way up here afterwards. So we're gonna change the sender out. So our sender here is over the water. So I'm not gonna be able to film this, but I'll change it out and we'll readjust it and I'll show you that it works. All right, so I got the new trim in there. You can see in the camera, the cover's off. So our center engine should be just the same as the rest now. Let's trim it up. Well, look at that. All right, so we got our new trim sender in. It's working as it should. We got new rope and chain in the front. We got to get a couple gas shocks for this bed here and this boat will be all good. So let's get back to the shop and see what's next. All right, so we made it back to the shop. It's our final job for today. We actually got to go to our US 19 store where they actually sell the boats where I work. We just fix them and deliver them, stuff like that. I have a CT board for a Fisher Panda. I diagnosed a while ago at a boat show. The boat's been sitting at our store. Um, might be sold now, that's why I want to get this done. But I've been waiting for this part for quite a while. It, uh, it's hard to get computer chips and any of that kind of stuff right now. We're having a big issue with batteries, computer boards. Stuff like that so let's get there and we'll uh i'll show you what's what we're doing see you there all right so we made it to our 19th floor we got tons of boats here actually low on inventory but this guy right here just came in 378 pursuit brand new model just came out in 2021 really cool boat our boat's inside though so let's go old thing the old Grady White all right here's our boat all right so inside here we have our generator inside this panel here is our CT board that we're gonna replace all right so we got the cover off this is our CT board controls our output and a couple other things like fuel gauge, a couple other things and, and monitors. The cool thing about this board is that you can actually bypass it if something fails, like any of this stuff up here fails, any of the components. You can bypass it to keep the generator running for an emergency purposes. So let's change it out. showroom here so when the boat's sold or whatever it comes back to our marina here we'll test it make sure everything's good we're done for today i'm gonna pack it up i'll see you tomorrow i said lord please help me